Hello, doctors. This is me, Doctor Pro. <clears throat> today I am going. Uh, like today I am. Uh, the aim of this presentation is this: that, that mostly doctors ask from me that Doctor Pro, from where we can start the preparation for AMC, and we have only three months. We have only five months. How we can start? Which books are important? Some doctor says that. Uh, like they also ask that. Uh, which guidelines are like how we can use the RSGP guidelines. So in this presentation, I will uh, try to explain all these questions. Uh, I think I've, I'm like sure that this presentation will be helpful for those who are the beginners, like who, like now they are uh, trying to start the preparation for AMC. So this presentation will be helpful for them. And in last, whatever you have the questions, you can ask from me, I will give you the answer. Thank you. So let's just start. Okay, so these are the uh, the points which I will discuss today. Okay, number first, if you are thinking to start the preparation for AMC, like for AMC part one, or if you want to go for the exam, your first step will be epic verification. Like your first step will be verification with the EMC with all the stuff like epic verification and all the things and book the exam date when you have booked the exam date and date then uh, you will start the preparation this is this is the important thing because mostly doctor says that yes we will do the preparation and then we will start the uh, then we will book the exam date no in AMC part one first book the exam date when you will like give the four uh like almost three thousand yeah now the uh exam date like now the fees for the AMC part one is decreased from like less than three thousand so when you spend almost three thousand dollars three thousand AUD for this exam then definitely you will start the preparation so first point is this that your first step is always book the exam date you have after booking the exam date you have one year you have all whole one year for your exam like for example if you book the exam date on uh like uh 16 february for example if you book the exam on 16 february now you can postpone your exam or change the exam date up to next year uh 16 of february like you can uh, extend your exam date so in this way when you book your exam date in february you start your preparation you start your preparation in now uh, exam is near uh, like february is near uh, and you see that your preparation is not good then you extend your date from february to march and then from march to april in this way you have whole one year to for the preparation so it is good that first book the exam date, then your mind will be prepared for, for the preparation. First step, epic verification. It is not like this that mostly doctors say that we start the preparation and then we will do this verification, all these things. No, it will also take time. When you start the preparation, then try to give the exam within six months. Because if you make it more delay, then uh, because mostly the guidelines also, the GM, like the uh, our most important book, John Motak, this, this is also like his uh, additions become changed. The mo mostly guidelines become changed. So it is good that try to book the exam first and then your and then uh, give your exam within six months. Don't make it more delay. If you delay your exam, then it will be delayed lately. So don't make it delay. Like maximum six months is more than enough for everyone. Like for the uh fresh graduates and also for the for those who have the long gap as well like if mostly doctors like uh if just like me i uh i graduated in 2013 my graduation like my graduation year is 2013 so i have a long gap but it's still i do my preparation and within uh like almost six months six six to eight months i prepared for, for amc part one and i uh, went through my exam so this is the thing like for the for those doctors who have the long gap and for those doctors who are the fresh graduate and for everyone like who do, the doctors who are uh, doing the job and for everyone it is good that 
uh, only six to eight months for the preparation, like six to eight months, not don't go more than six to eight months. But at least, like, so when you book your exam, like uh, you have like one year, whole one year for the exam. Then first book your exam date and then start preparation. Some doctor says uh, that uh, Dr. Abu, I have only three months. I have only three months for preparation. Like I booked my exam in November and now I have only three months and I want to go for the November because mostly doctors say that in the November, the passing ratio is good. And I don't want to extend my date because after November, yes, in December and January, there is no any exam. So... And also there are, uh, there are uh, like vacations in the uh, December. So mostly do uh, doctors went for the vacations as well. So therefore, mostly doctors say that we, I booked my exam in November and now I have only three months. So now what can I do? At that time, like you have no time for the uh, long time preparation. Like if the doctors have six months, they have good time for preparation. They will, uh, if they have the long gap, they go through with the uh, like some courses as well. There are the uh, some academies like our med exam expert. They also uh, start the long course uh, soon, and they have also the uh, recall crash courses as well. So there are the different options for those who have the six months. So they will like there are the five month course, four four month course like this. But if you have only three months, now how I can start? From where I can start? So then your first step. I will tell you that what how you can uh, complete your preparation in three months. Some doctor says that I have long gap. How I start my preparation? Like I have a long gap. Uh, like I post, I graduated in 2013, just like me. I graduated in 2012, in 2011. And now I came in, in Australia. I'm, I'm in Australia since six years, six, uh, seven years. I'm in Australia because of my kids. I didn't go for my uh, studies. So oh, what can I do now? Like I have a long gap. So now what I, what uh, strategy or what uh, like course or everything, what, which things I uh, can I follow for my exam? So for them, like if you have six months, like but definitely if you have a long gap, then you can book your exam uh, at least uh, after six months or seven months. So now you have six months. If you have six months, you can go with the, uh, any uh, five month long course and then you can prepare with the according to the course in the course the teachers will uh, prepare you according to the uh, like uh, theory first they uh, uh, cover the whole theory and they cover the whole recalls and all these things February mostly doctors they ask the question I will explain these things doctors I will explain in the next slide I will uh, explain these things and what are the important things and how you prepare in three months and how you prepare in six months and all these things okay mostly doctors ask this question this is very like I don't know why doctors like scared from the, these two months February and June mostly doctors like they ask this question from me and also in my group and everywhere I saw this question that in in february the passing ratio is very low can i book my date in february can i book my date in june yes if the if you're uh, like one year as i said that uh, if you book your exam in february definitely you have only one year then you will not uh, like extend your exam date uh, after uh, like february you cannot uh, not extend your exam date to the march so this is important that you can go with the exam in the February. But doctors, this is this is a rumor. This is not true. I saw because now, like since to one year, I am with the doctors, and every month, so many doctors passed. And in February also, I saw number of the doctors they passed their exam. This is, this is not like this, that if you book your exam in March, you will pass. If you book your exam in October, you will fail. Or if you book your exam in November, you will pass. This is not like this. If you are fully prepared, if you know that, yes, now I am fully prepared, I know each and everything related to AMC, go with the exam. It is not like this, that February has low passing uh, ratio. Therefore, I'm not going with the February. I want to go with the March. No. All months are same. 
passing ratio is not like this that the AMC will go with, like a a AMC will do the 70% uh, passing ratio or 60% passing ratio, no. If everybody like uh, mark the right answer, AMC will pass all their candidates. It is not like this that they, uh, they fail the uh, candidates and they make it like 60% or 70% uh, result, no, it is not like this. Why they make you fail? If you if you mark all the answers right, then why AMC make you fail? Why? No, they have no any reason to make you fail if you mark all the answers right. But the problem in February is this, that in February, mostly guidelines change. Just like this time in uh, colorectal carcinoma guidelines. Colorectal carcinoma guidelines in 2023, we always follow the red book. We always follow the old guidelines. But in September 2023, the guidelines changed. At that time, February, like in September 2023, the guidelines changed. It's still September, October, October, November, we follow the old guidelines. In February, the doctors, they scared. Then they said that now we don't know that we follow the old guideline and we follow the new guideline. This is the only problem in the February. We don't know that the answers are uh, uh, up to date, up to date or not. Like now, now the answers are in February. The answers are from new guideline or from old guideline. This is only the problem with the February. Therefore, the passing ratio is a little bit low from other months. Otherwise, if the doctors have fully prepared, they pass the exam in February as well. Mostly my students, mostly my dear doctors, they pass their exam in February as well. So don't be, don't be scared from February. If you are fully prepared, go with the exam in February. And also in June, I don't know why most of doc now June uh, result will come soon. And I'm sure that uh, all doctors will pass, but I don't know why most doctors say that uh, in June, uh, the passing ratio is very low. No, I, and there is no any reason uh, behind the June as well. In February, this is only the reason because in February, mostly guidelines change. Therefore, the doctor says that uh, we don't know that we go with the new guidelines or we go with the uh, old guidelines. Therefore, they, the passing ratio in February is a little low as compared to other months. Last thing is November has good passing ratio. Uh, from my experience, yes, doctors, I don't know why what is the reason and i'm not saying to you like this that if you have if you uh if your exam is in june or uh, is in july or in august and september then you will fail no this is not that this is not true you will pass your exam but in november this is true that i i, I also saw this thing that mostly doctors who fail their attempt to pass the exam in november i don't know why but yes this is true maybe in November, like you solve all the recalls for whole one year recalls and mostly recalls repeat in the exam. Maybe this is also the reason. Maybe this is the reason. Therefore, in November, the passing ratio is very good. But it's still in November, also some doctors fail. I'm not saying like this, that in November, the passing ratio is 100%. No, it is also 70, 70%, 80%, 90%. It is not 100%. It is not like this that if you mark the wrong answer, they pass you. No, it is not like this. But yes, from other months, November ratio is good. Like if you mark the answer, you will pass. So this is all about the uh, these questions. This 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 these two questions are like every every in February. I said I received so many messages related to this question that doctors can I go with the February or not? Can I February is good or not? And also in June, I don't know why I, I have no any uh, I didn't uh, uh, hear any reason behind the June that June has low passing ratio. No, February has low passing ratio because of the guidelines, and November has good passing ratio. Yes, maybe this is the last month of the uh like uh, year maybe this is the reason therefore they have the good uh they pass mostly doctors in the november but yes i also saw that some of the doctors they failed as well so passing and uh pass or fail is not depend on the recalls and pass and fail is not depend on the months pass and fail is only depend on your preparation how you prepare yourself for the exam how much you know about the amc 
this is the only important thing. If you know everything related to AMC, if you know all the important points, if you complete your handbook, if you complete your QBank, if you complete at least three years recalls, you are fully prepared for the exam. Then no matter what is the month, you will pass your exam. Okay. Now, important AMC books. As we know that, this is the very important book. Everybody know. John Mortar. Everybody know this is very important book nowadays. This is the 8th edition. I don't know that ninth edition came or not. But 8th edition is the latest one. We always follow this. This book is very good book. It's still now I'm uh, for the clinical. I always follow this book. This book is very good book. Second book, handbook. Handbook, uh, there is no any latest edition for the handbook. Handbook is very old, but handbook is very important for EMC part one. Handbook is very, very important. It's still, they give the questions from handbook, from the explanation. The X-ray question, the question related to GIT, the question related to X-ray. X-ray of the small intestine, large intestine, uh, X-ray related to this stomach, X-ray related to this pancreas, like the this X-ray, this question always come from handbook. ECT, ECT question always come from handbook explanation. This X-ray question, the double bubble sign. This they always give this one question, this one X-ray question. They always give this X-ray question or CT question. They, this question always come from the explanation of the handbook. Handbook is very important for AMC. I know this is very old. Most doctors say that this is old. We don't follow the uh, handbook. Don't follow the handbook for the treatment. Don't follow the handbook for the, uh, like, uh, yeah, just for the treatment. Don't follow the handbook for the treatment because treatment, we always follow the RSGP guidelines because this is the new. Like, we always fo uh, follow the new thing for the treatment purpose. Otherwise, for the symptoms, for the signs, for the, yeah, for your diagnosis, for the investigation as well. You can follow the handbook. So handbook is very important. Now, number third point is RCGP guidelines. Mostly doctors ask for me that, doctor, how we follow the RCGP guidelines? Like what is, how we can follow the RCGP guidelines? They are the, these are the two books. This is the red book. 10th edition is the latest one. And this is the white. White book is not related to the guidelines. White book is not related to the uh, like uh, the guidelines of the cancer and all these things. No. White book is related to the ethics question. I will show you the white book as well. And red book, most, most important book is the red book. And red book is related with the guidelines. I will show you the red book as well. Just give me one minute. I'm coming. Just give me doctors one minute. Yeah, doctor. So this is red book and this is white book. One doctor says that red book is not updated. Doctor, red book is not updated. DM is also not updated. Like in 8th edition, you will see that 8th edition is, is still very old. But 8th edition is the latest edition. Handbook, this book is the red book. This is the like uh, latest edition is the 10th edition. Now I will show you, just give me one minute. I will show you the red book and also the white book. Mm, yes. <clears throat> this is the red book. 
guidelines for the preventive activities and general practice. This is the red book. And in this book, you will find all the guidelines related to these cancers, which are very important. Mostly, mostly we follow the guidelines for the cancer things. Yes, Dr. Dev, I'm saying that this is the 10th edition. Uh, if you need any guide regarding AMC, yeah. So this is the uh, 10th edition, and this is the, the uh, guideline, which I'm the red book, which I'm showing you on the screen. This is the 10th edition. So this is the latest one. So uh, now I'm going to sh uh, show you the this corrector carcinoma. This is the very, like we can say that the new guidelines, the colorectal carcinoma thing. So here, this is, it's still we can say that this is the 2023 and 2022, 23 things are there. You can follow this guideline or this book, red book. But if you have not red book, like if you don't have red book, a PDF file for the red book, that it's okay. You can follow the Google for the RACGP guidelines as well. Just like this. Just write your topic. It's not like esophagitis. Very, very important topic in like since October 2023, or I said I think said September 2023, this topic is very hot top. Every month, every month they give this topic is no like esophagitis and exam. Sometimes they give the treat mostly they give the treatment diagnosis. Treatment diagnosis. Okay. So if you have the uh, like uh, whatever your uh, like topic is, is not like esophagitis or colon cancer or uh, breast ca uh, carcinoma, any any topic you just write over there and then you write RACGP. All the topics related to RACGP will open. Just click on this and your topic is open. Everything. Everything related to isnophilic esophagitis, according to the RACGP guideline, will open here. And these things are the same which mentioned in Red Book. So if you have Red Book in PDF form, you can follow that Red Book. 10th edition is the latest one. You can follow. But if, if you have not Red Book, then it's okay. You can follow the Google. You can write, just write your topic and write RACGP with the topic. This thing will open. All the topics are there. Like if I just I wrote the uh, isnophilic esophagitis, complete uh, explanation related to isnophilic esophagitis is there. And this is all from RACGP guideline. Just follow this uh, RACGP guideline like this. Follow RACGP guideline for each and every topic. Whatever your topic is, for each and every uh, every topic, always follow RACGP guideline first. Because JM is very, is still old. Like in 8th edition, 8th uh, edition is the latest one, but it's still uh, the, uh, like we can say that the treatment or investigation and all these things are not updated in JM. So therefore, we mostly... Uh, tell our students that go uh, with RHGP guidelines. If you have red book, 10th edition, PDF file, go to, uh, uh, with that book. If you have not read book, then it's okay. Just go with the Google. Just write over there, as I show, uh, show you, that just write your topic, RHGP, your uh, topic will appear like this and go with this. And you can write uh, your prop, uh, like topic over there as well and just search and you're all topic will appear like this and you start the reading from this uh, file. This is the, this is from the RCGP, like how, because mostly doctors ask for me the, this question, their doctor from where or how we can, uh, like, and I can uh, just follow the RCGP guidelines. You can follow like this. Just one minute, I start my presentation. Yeah. So this is the hand, this is the red book, and this is the white book. White book is not related to the guidelines. The white book is related to the ethics thing. Sorry, I didn't show you the white book, but wait, I show you the white book as well. Just give me one minute.
yeah because white book is also some doctors they confuse uh, between this white book and red book and they ask from me that doctor what is this white book then if this is the red book then what is the white book white book is this i show you the white book this one is the white book this one this one is the white book and it is not related to the again this is this is mostly related to the ethics thing abuse and violence working with our patient in general practice this is the white book so all the topics like the trauma uh, children abuse, child abuse, and specific abuse issues, and all these things. These, this, and abortional things. These things are mentioned into the white book. This is the white book. But if you are saying the red book, this is the red book, and red book has all the guidelines related to the treatment and related to the investigations for the specific problems. All problems, not only the uh, cancer, but the other problems as well. Like if you see the screening and all these things, screening is also very important. Or you can see that these are all the cancers, and these are the cardiovascular things, and the, these all the topics for which we can follow the guidelines. All topics are there, like all the. Mental health and substance abuse, all these things. This book is very, this book is also very important and very good book. But if you don't follow the, if you say that the red book is not, maybe the red book is not updated, maybe the edition also is not updated, then it's okay. You can follow the uh, Google as well. You can just write your topic and RSGP guideline. Latest thing will appear. Latest thing. Okay, so one doctor says, well, we don't find so many topics. Top, uh, you don't find so many topics from this red book. Uh, red book, you are saying uh, red book. New updates has come to, uh, can you please share it? Okay. Okay, if we cannot find the topic from RACGP or John Murdoch, then where to find those topics? Do doctors, mostly doctors, we find. We will find mostly topics you will find from the uh, this RACGP guideline. If you don't find, like the other websites are also good, but try to go with the Australian websites, like from the for the gynae things or for the like for the piercings. RACGP definitely, and RACGP is not that in the RCH. We have the RCH. RCH, we always follow the RCH for the peace. And uh, for the gynae, mostly we mostly follow the, in the, for the gynae, uh, like problems, diff, all hospitals, like different uh, different states have the different thing. Mostly we follow the South Australia. But if the, in the South Australia, like in uh, uh, guidelines are, are not up to date or uh, if you don't find anything in the South Australian guideline, then you can follow the Western Australia guideline as well. So try to, but try to stick with the Australian guideline. Don't go with the other, like uh, with some doctors, they follow the American guidelines as well. Uh, we don't follow the American guidelines here because there are some changes in the treatment, in the investigation, there are some treat or in the follow-up or screening. There are some uh, like uh, difference between the American or the Australian guidelines. So it is good that you stick with the Australian guidelines. If you don't find find your topic in the RSHGP, that if the topic is related to the peace, find it RCH. If the topic is related to the Ghani, then uh, try to find it the Australian, South Australian guidelines or Western Australian guidelines. But try to stick with the Australian guidelines, not with the, any other guidelines. Doctors, literally, <laughs> I don't hear this green and silver. <laughs> I just hear these three books, red book, white book, and blue book. Blue book is the handbook. Red book is related to the guidelines. And white book is related to the uh, this ethics things. But I never hear this green or silver, silver book. I don't know. But don't confuse yourself with the number of the books. Why you are confusing yourself with the number of the books? I, I One book I saw in the uh, in the group, some doctors uh, said they said that uh, we have some pages of this book. Can you please uh, share the PDF of this book? I saw the uh, book, and that book was related to the recalls. Uh, like uh, I'm not taking the name, but one academy uh, they published that book, and that book has only the recalls. So why you are wasting your money for the books? I don't know why you are wasting your like. Don't go with the different uh, books. Just stick with only two books, JM, Handbook, and Guidelines. No need to follow all the uh, books related to it. Just follow the Red Book 
And if you don't follow the red book, because maybe this is the, uh, it's not up to date, then go with the Google and just read RSGP and you follow the uh, RSGP guidelines. And that's it. Don't make, your con con don't make yourself confused with the number of the books. I get lost. In yes, if you follow number of the books, then definitely you will be lost with RSGP. <laughs> I have also heard about blue book. Blue book is the handbook. I will show you. I will show you this blue book. Blue book is the handbook. This is very important book. And blue book, we always, uh, some doctor says it is handbook and some, uh, some says it, some call it as a blue book. Therefore, therefore, because I uh, like received so many messages related to this thing that doctor, what is the which book is important, red book or white book? But uh, literally, I didn't uh, hear anything related to the silver or green book. I don't know. I I don't know about these two books from like since uh, one year I am with this teaching thing, and before one year I was uh, uh, preparing myself for the exam. At that time, I never uh, heard this thing about the silver book or green book. No, there are the only three books: red book, white book, and the blue book. Blue book is handbook. Red book is the guidelines. And that's it. Is there any defense labels for AMC exam and what topics we should focus more? Doctor, there is no any, like you, uh, this AMC exam is the exam from your five year M MBBS. Like if you uh, like graduate from your country in five years, some, some countries, maybe seven years, just like in Australia, we graduate, uh, most doctors graduate uh, from the Melbourne University, they graduate in seven years. So whatever you said in the five years, the last two years, fourth year and final year, whatever you study in the four year final year in the I, E, N, T, or we can say the medicine, surgery, peers, gynae, all the syllabus is important for the AMC. Whatever you read in fourth year or in final year, mostly we read this because in first year, second year, we mostly read uh, uh, read uh, physio anatomy, or we can say the biochemistry. These top uh, uh, like subjects are not important for the AMC. For the AMC last two year of MBBS, medicine, surgery, gynae, peace, I, ENT, ortho, whatever we said in the last two years of the MBBS are important for AMC. This is the syllabus. Like it is not like this that some topics are uh, important for the AMC and go through with the topics and you pass. No, all the topics, all the topics in medicine, all the topics in surgery, peace, gynae, uh, ortho, and I, ENT, all the topics are important for AMC. Okay, and also guide about minor topics like ethics passage from where to. Okay, doctor, I will, I will, I will tell you these things as well. That from where we can, uh, use okay, green book guidelines for the impl implementation of prevention in the general practice. Getting, don't make yourself confused with this green book, doctor. I'm still saying that don't make your cons confused with the white book as well. Just go with the red book. Just go through with the red book is very important. Red book is good. Red book is the for guidelines, but not this. Why this green book? Okay, just now let's go to the uh, presentation. Okay. So this is the, this is the red book and this is the white book and JM and head. Okay, doctor, so I already uh, explained you this thing that from where we can, you, you will get this PDF file. Uh, also, I, I, I just uh, Google the PDF file of the red, uh, this red book and it comes in the yeah, Google and just I copy, I download from there. So it is not difficult that from where we can get the PDF file of the red book. It is not difficult. Just Google it and you will find the PDF file of the red book and just download in your mobile or in your laptop. It's very easy. Also the white book. I These two books I download from the Google. This is it is not expert. It is not like any... Uh, difficult difficulty to download these two books. Just follow these two books. Just follow this red book. Mostly just follow this red book and follow the RCGP guideline from the Google. And that's it. Don't make your confused. Don't make make yourself confused with the different <laughs> colors of the books. <laughs> okay. So this is the very important book. This is called handbook and this is called blue book. This book is called blue book. 
handbook or blue book. Important points to cover. These are like these three things are very important to pass EMC part one exam. Whenever doctors ask from me that Dr. Nilofa, can you please tell me that which which books are important for AMC, which points are important for AMC, and how I will pass the like AMC, yeah, or which academy. Mostly doctors ask from me that doctor, please tell us that which academy is in, uh, like good and which academy provides us a good uh, sources of doctors, academies, all academies. I'm not saying that I am definitely I am uh, with med exam expert and they are also very good. All academies are good. The other academies, they are all, they are also my teachers. All all academies. I'm not saying that this academy is good. This is this is now up to you, because like in Australia, there's the one uh, academy. I'm not taking the names of the academy, but this is very expensive again, very expensive. Up to date, very good Australian academy. They are also my teacher, but very expensive. Some doctors they uh like they can uh, go to with that academies. Some doctors, they have not as such, uh, like they said that, no, th these are very expensive, what we can do. So all academies are good. If you go with the med exam expert, they are also, and they are, the thing is that, that they are cheap. You can go with the med exam expert because they have no as such like uh, more expensive. The other academies, they are very expensive. Yeah, but if you, <laughs> but if you are in, Aust uh, in Australia and if you are in, dollars and you can go with that academies expert it's okay so now the my question is that that doctors ask for me that doctor which academy is uh provide us all authentic like uh, resources academies will not provide you the authentic uh resources all academies have the same resources and academies will tell you the timetable academies will teach you the topics teachers they are the teachers and academies they will teach you the topics but the resources are three important resources. These three important resources are everywhere. It's not like the uh, academies will provide you these resources. No. These resources, you will find these resources everywhere. Handbook, QPeng, and Recalls. Handbook, very, very important book. Just go through with the handbook at least three times. Completely learn the handbook word to word. Not only that, like just read one time and that's it. No, read this handbook word to word three times. Then start, then Cuba, uh, QBank. All QBanks are good. I'm not saying that this QBank is very good. This QBank is not good. No, all QBanks are good. Amidex, Amplex, and also MedExam Expert, they have also the QBank. This Q bank is also good. One, uh, I think one Q bank says AMC Q bank is also there. All Q banks are good. I'm not saying that this Q bank is good and this is not good. All Q banks is uh, good. But again, the problem is that some Q banks are very expensive. They are not comes in my budget. So I will go with that uh, Q bank, which is cheap and also good. Some Q, all Q banks are equal. equal. All Q banks have good explanation. Med exam expert, they have also uh, one QBank, you can contact with them and they, they will tell you the charges, but I'm sure that their charges are very low as compared to the other QBanks. Okay, so number third is recalls. Recalls are very important doctors. The doctors who cover the handbook, the doctors who cover the cube book, they said that we don't cover the recalls and we fail. Actually recalls will uh, give you the idea because in the exam, the when question come in front of you, you have only like maximum, you have only one minute to read the whole question and then you answer the, so it, it will take time. Within one minute or maximum within two minutes, it is very difficult to uh, solve the question, long question within two minutes or within three minutes. So when you solve the recalls, you will quickly solve the question. The importance of recall is this. Why recalls are very important? Because when you solve the recalls, when you quickly like uh, grip on the recalls, then your you will quickly solve your answer in your exam question. Because exam questions are very lengthy and you have only maximum two minutes to solve the question. So first you read the question and then if you've already solved the recalls, 
you will, I am 110% sure that if you already solve the recalls, you will 110% quickly solve your question within one minute because that question always comes from the recalls. Recalls are very important. Recalls always repeat. I'm not saying that the same exam month recalls, but the other month's recalls are also very important. If you have time, then do recalls maximum three to five years. Recalls are doctor, some woman doctor asked in the chat box that from where can I get the recalls? Recalls are everywhere. It is not like I, I said that I have a group, my, in my group, you will find the recalls. No, recalls everywhere you find the recalls. You will find the recalls everywhere. AMC recalls are everywhere. It is not like from uh, uh, one group is uh, very important and uh, all the recalls are there. No, you will find recalls everywhere. Academy is the, if you join the academy for the recalls, the plus point is only this, that they will provide you the recalls with the answer and explanation. But if you find if you join the group for the recalls, then you will find only the recall with the answer, but not any authentic explanation. This is the only difference between the recalls from the academy and recalls from the groups. But you will find the recalls everywhere in every group. If you uh, write in the Telegram uh, AMC groups, number of the groups will uh, appear. Join all the uh, groups and go uh, go through with the file section of that group. You will find the recalls. Recalls finding recalls is not the difficult thing. Problem is that that solving the recalls and then finalizing the correct answer for the recalls. The problem is only this. Finding recalls is not the problem. You will find the recalls everywhere. In the uh, Facebook, there are so many groups uh, related to the AMC MCQ. Just uh, join that groups and just join that pages. You will in the file section. You will find the recalls. But the problem is solving the recalls. Make a group of four to five study partners and then solve the recalls. Take five recalls, solve five recalls per day or 10 recalls per day, uh, read the recall and then find your answer from RSGP guideline, then from JM. And then if you don't find your recall from the JM or RCP, then find from the other uh, like website, Australian website. You will find, you will find your answer. It is not difficult. Recalls are not as difficult. You will find your answer. Just make a group of four to five study partners and then uh, find your answers. Recalls are very uh, important. At least do one year recall, at least. If you have exam in November 2024, 2024 uh, February to November recalls are very important. But for uh, like my suggestion is that, that at least do three years recalls, three years recalls. Because when I when I was like appeared in my exam, uh, I, for me, like this is my personal experience that I uh, only do the six months recalls. This is my personal experience. I only do the six months recalls because I didn't knew about this thing. No one tell, uh, told me that recalls are as such important. I only do the six months recalls. And uh, when I got uh, like in, during my exam, I saw some uh, questions and I said that uh, oh, I made this mistake. If I because uh, whatever I solved in six months, that questions also repeat in my uh, in my exam. So at that time, I said that I made this mistake, and I was like fully prepared that if this time I failed, next time I will do the three months, uh, three years recalls, but. This is good that I passed uh, my exam. But after that, whatever, whenever doctors ask from me that Dr. Lufel tell us that which uh, like uh, recalls are important, how many months recalls are important, I always told them that please at least do one year recalls. Otherwise, three year recalls are very good option for you. Please do three years recalls. Don't go to, uh, like very fast before the AMC exam, no. First two handbook, three to uh, at least three times. Read the handbook at least three times and also read the handbook near to your exam. Like if you have exam in November and you have only one week, only one week left, then uh, repeat the handbook. So handbook is very important. Three times, read the handbook three times, then QBank. QBank is up to you. If you go through, if you want to go with the MEDEX, MEDEX is very good. 
my personal experience, I am also the same <laughs> student of MEDX, uh, but the thing is that at that time, at that time, the MEDX was like some one doctor and I don't know uh, uh, who was that doctor, but they made the PDF files of the MEDX. At that time, that PDF files like scattered everywhere and I solved that. I, I didn't uh, like buy any subscription of the MEDX. I only uh, do that video files of the MEDX at that time. It was like, uh, then, uh, yeah, I think PDF file is of 2022 and 2023. I don't know that in 2024, someone made the PDF file of MEDX or not. I don't know. But yes, but MEDX, otherwise MEDX is a little expensive for those who are in the Australia, for them, it is good. But the, for those who are outside of the Australia, like in the other countries, maybe, for them, Amidex is uh, expensive. The other Cuban, Amplex. Amplex is also very good. The explanation is also very good. But the uh, same thing. Yes. And um, as, uh, yes, I think one doctor, I, uh, I don't remember the name, but he also make the PDF files of the uh, Amplex as well. And also he make the PDF uh, file of the notes from the Amplex as well. So... PDF files, you will find the PD, these PDF files of the QBanks everywhere. It is not like from which group I will find these PDF files. You will find the PDF files everywhere. These PDF files are also in the Facebook and also in the WhatsApp and also in the Telegram groups. So these are the things. And yes, Medigazam Expert, they also have the QBank. And these are the, this is, I said that this is the cheapest option for us, like who are not in the Australia for us. These, this is the cheapest option. Medexam expert and all Q banks are same because they have the explanation, they have the answers. So you just read the explanation and then you can go through with your answer. So this is the good option as well. So these are the uh, okay. So this is and uh, in this slide I just uh, show you this thing that how we cover one topic. Like if you are uh, if you select the topic is nephilic is First check handbook questions related to is no just how you check the question related to EOE, how you know that uh, where is the question related to, just go to the index in the end of the uh, handbook, there is the index and just see is no esophagitis and the questions related to EOE, just solve that questions. After that, go through with the explanations as well. After that, read is no esophagitis from JM. And then read is no esophagitis from RCGP guidelines. I already show you that how we will find, how we will search the isnophilic esophagitis. Just write the isnophilic esophagitis with RCGP in Google and you will find the EOE, everything related to the EOE from the RCGP. Just go to go through with that topic and then recalls related to related to EOE. Now the question is how we will find the recalls related to EOE. How you will find the recalls? This is also very uh, like uh, easy thing. If you uh, join the different pages in Facebook, and if you find the different groups in Facebook, just write isnophilic esophagitis in the search option of that groups or in the search option of that pages. All the questions related to isnophilic esophagitis will uh, appear in front of you. Very easy. Just go through with all these questions, with all that questions which comes in front of you, and your topic is complete like this. After isnophilic esophagitis, go with the second topic, uh, just like her. Just take it uh, uh, GERD and uh, all questions related to the GERD from handbook. Cover first, always uh, first cover handbook because handbook is the authentic group from the Australia. So in that way, you will see that. What are the important points uh, in Australia, like for the AMC? So first, always do the handbook. Just uh, second topic, take the second topic. First, read the uh, questions related to that topic from the handbook. And that read that topic from the JM. And that then read that topic from the RCGP as well. And in last, uh, solve the recalls related to that topics. Always, but whenever you solve one uh, topic, always do these all these four things, all these four things, because JM is also very important. Sometimes in AMC, the questions like the options are copy paste from the JM. JM is very important, doctors. It is not like that JM is not up to date that we don't follow the JM. No, 
GM is very important. Sometimes the pictures come from the GM. Sometimes the pictures come from the handbook as well. The picture of the swelling of the neck in the, fem uh, the female with the swelling of the neck, very important picture in handbook. This question always come in the exam with this parotid gland swelling. And X-rays, as always, I uh, said to my student that X-rays are very important from the handbook. And uh, see uh, this one. The CT scans, the CT scan is always an ECG. These are the important points from the, these are the important topics from the hand. So for the pictures, follow the JM. For the pictures of the dermatology. Dermatology pictures, very important. JM is very important for that dermatology pictures. So in this way, you will cover your topic. Uh, sorry, doctors, I'm not check, uh, checking the chat box at this time. I, first, I will. Uh, I want to cover the my slides, and then in the last, I will uh, see the chat box. That what are the questions? Okay, which in, which Q bank is important? As I already told you, there's the Amedex, Amplex, Medex, and Expert Q bank. There are the other Q banks as well. I don't know the names of the others, like maybe there's the AMC Q Bank, all uh, maybe, and also there's one doctor, um, Dr. Ali, I think. Uh, uh, I don't know about his Q Bank, uh, but he also made a good Q Bank. So there are this number of the Q Banks. I'm not saying that that this Q Bank is good, this Q Banks is not good. No, all Q Banks are good because all Q Banks has the uh, uh, answer and all Q Banks has the explanation. Now it's up to you that which cubing he wants to follow. And second thing is that that the expensive. This Amitex, Amplex, these are very expensive, literally, in, like in USD. So uh, the doctors or the person who is in the inside, like who is in uh, Australia, they can afford, they can afford these cube, uh, expensive cubings. But who, the doctors who are outside the Australia, for them, maybe it is not affordable. So for them, uh, it is good that you can go with the cheapest one. So, and yes, I also saw the MedExam Expert Cubank as well. They are also very, they have the good uh, Cubank and they have the number of the recalls. Like I think more than uh, 1,000, 2,000 uh, questions they have and they have the explanation as well. So you can go with them as well. And they have the recall crash course ex as well. Like if you are, uh, if you have difficulty in finding the correct answer of the recalls, like if you don't know that, and if you have uh, mostly doctors, like just like me, I'm not like a, a study group. Like I don't, uh, I never uh, do learning in the groups. I always, I'm very, <laughs> I always uh, do learning by myself. Like I, I'm not, I'm not follow the other doctors. So I always follow myself. So for me, it's very difficult to find the recalls. Like, so therefore I always follow the uh, fresh courses or the academy. So because I am not from that persons that uh, who study in the group. But yes, if you have a good study uh, group, like if you have a good study partners, four or five study partners, then you can solve the recalls by yourself. But if you have no any study partner, if you face difficulty in finding the recalls, then you can uh, follow the academy. Med exam expert, they have the crash course uh, of the recalls. And if you can join that course, then you will find the right answer and also the explanation as well. So it's up to you, doctors. I'm not saying that this course is good. This course, it's up to you. Okay. Mm, last month, important preparation guide. Mostly doctors now, if like from next month, uh, like from next week, 15th of uh, July, our July exam is starting. So mostly doctors ask from me this question that doctor, uh, now I already done the uh, the skewing. I already done the handbook. I already done the recalls. Now what can I do the last month? So in the last month, your first step always is your first step will be handbook. Please try to repeat the handbook in the last month. Try to repeat the handbook very very carefully. Repeat handbook. It is very important. Repeat notes from Q, whatever Q bank you are following. Like if you are following the Amidex, Q bank, uh, Amplex, and other uh, Q banks, just make a notes from them. Just make notes and repeat all your notes from Q bank. Notes are, if you if you make any notes, please try to repeat your notes. Your notes very important because I saw some doctors and they says that we have no time to repeat our notes as well. 
no, this is very bad. Like, if you make a, uh, if you already done your notes and if you made notes, then please try to uh, make time for your notes. Repeat your notes, your own notes. Number third, quickly revision of three year recalls. Try to solve three year recalls before one month, like before uh, your exam. Like if your exam is in November and try to solve three years recalls and complete your three years recalls till October. In November, repeat your all recalls. It is not like, it is not difficult. Just repeat the question and answer, question and answer. And that's it. Repeat three years recalls in last month. Last week. Last week, again, revise handbook. Handbook is very important, doctors. In last week, just go through with the handbook. Go through with the pictures of the handbooks. Plus, revise last month recalls. For example, if you have exam in November, in last week, try to repeat all the recalls of October and uh, September, September and October, because these months definitely will repeat in November. So this is the strategy for the last month. There are the 80 messages in the chat box. Sorry, I will I will give you the answers, doctors. I will give the, all the answers. Chances of getting recalls and exam. There are like so much like I will say that there are hundred percent chances of recalls that you will get the recalls in the exam. Hundred percent. Not only the same month recalls, but the other months recalls as well. Most common question is my this is very important <laughs> not not important like very common question very important common question sorry very common question my exam is on day first can i get recalls doctors you will not get the recalls of the same month but you will get the recalls of the other months on the day first you will get the recalls but not from the definitely if your exam is on the day first you will not get the recalls of the same month but you will get the recalls of the other months. You will get the recalls of this. If you have exam on day 1st of November, you will get the recalls of October. You will get the recalls of September. Recalls are, recalls are important. My exam is on last day. How many recalls I will get? Doctors, <laughs> on the last day, this, these are very common questions. Mostly doctors ask from me. Whenever they are like planning to book the exam date, they ask this question from me. That doctor, uh, like I have two options, this this date and this date. So this date is first date and this date is the last date. Last date, how many uh, recalls I will get on the last date? You will get like 120 or 130 recalls on the last date. This is this is true. I I'm giving the right like true answers. I'm not saying that this is not true. No. You will get 120 recalls. You will get 130 recalls. But the problem is that 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 recalls will be like will change, and also the numbering of the recalls will be less. If one question comes on day first, if that that question is difficult. Because this is the computerized exam. If on day first, one question comes for the uh, doctor and that question is very difficult. For example, she came after the after the exam, she comes to you and she will tell you her the uh, she will tell you uh, about uh, like her recall that these that recalls come in my exam. Second day, you will mark the that question like the difficult one. You will mark that uh, uh, answer, and in this in that way, the the difficulty level of that questions decreased. On day first, it is more difficult. On day second, mostly doctors mark right answer because they know because they know the topic, they know the recall, they find the right answer, and they mark the right answer. The difficulty level of the that question become decreased. On day first. The number for that question may be five on day second because the difficulty level of the uh, question is decreased. Uh, the number of on day second, the num the uh, marking for that question may be decreased. On third day, again, that question repeat. Again, all doctors mark the right answer. Again, more the questions, difficulty level of the question decrease. Because the question is now, the question is not difficult. Because everyone is marking the right answer. It means that the question is not difficult now. 
This is the computer based exam. And for computer, your answers, your marking is only depending on the difficulty and easy things. So if mostly doctors mark on the right answer, then it means that the, this question is not difficult and the level of the difficulty is decreased. If the level of the difficulty is decreased, then the marking is also decreased. I saw the doctors. I saw the doctors and they got 70% recall. They said that I one doctor uh, in, I think, on, in March, he said that, doctor, my exam was on the last day. And I got 120 recalls, exam week recalls, 120 recalls from 150, but still I failed by. And that is the reason. You got 120 and you mark the right answer. But the problem is that, that that 120 questions was not as such difficult. And the 30 questions which was difficult, you marked wrong. Therefore, you fail. So this is the strategy for the EMC. I saw the doctors who appeared on day first. This they like uh, they faced the very difficult questions, very difficult, and they said that the doctor the exam was very difficult. And these is these are my records, but I don't know I will pass or not. That uh, those doctors they passed, they passed their exam with the difficulty level. So this is the thing. On the day first, you will pass your exam if you are fully prepared. If you done your handbook, if you complete your handbook, if you completed your Q bank, a Q bank, if you completed your three ESD calls, you will pass your exam on day first as well. So this is not like this that uh, if you have uh, like if you have exam on day first, your chances is decreased. Uh, like for the passing, your chances is decreased. No, you will pass your exam on day first. And I'm not saying like this, but yes, it is true that. On the last day, also doctors failed. Also doctors failed with the 120 recalls, they failed. So don't rely only on the recalls. You will get the 120 recalls, you will get 130 recalls, but still you are failed. Why? Because you are not fully prepared. First, try to prepare for the exam and then book your, first book your exam, fully prepare for the exam and then go for the exam. It is not like this that exam week recalls are, they come the end, the exam, so I will pass. No. Exam week recalls are very important. Recalls are very important. You will get the recalls. You will get 120 recalls, 130 recalls. But uh, solving the recalls is very important. Like how you uh, how you are solving the recalls, the strategy of the recall solving. These, are, these things are very important. Because in the exam day, uh, and second thing, yes, this is the also very important thing that on day first doctors uh, they get the recall and in the last line of the uh, recall is what is your next step maybe the same question with the same steps the same like they are asking about the investigation same question with the same uh, like options come in your exam okay same question come in your ex uh, came in your exam and and you uh, and you are not reading the question. You just read the question. Oh yeah, this is the recall, and you mark the answer, and then you realize that no. For my colleague doctor, they ask what is your next step. For me, they are asking what is your appropriate step, or what is your best step. So your answer is change. Your colleague answer is change. Your answer is change. So don't go only don't mark your answer blindly on the uh, like just uh, because this is the recall so the answer is this and no just try to solve your question just read your question and see that what they are asking for you just read your last line last line is very important for this is not really as a question if they are asking what is your next step in treatment what is your next step your next step is always ppi we always give PPI. This is the treatment. This is the treatment for isnophilic. I know that is, PPI has no any role for isnophilic isnophilic. But still, your next step will be PPI. But if they are saying, what is your appropriate step? What is your appropriate treatment for this condition? Then your uh, answer will be fluticinide or fluticasone. Why? Because they are asking most appropriate. If you mark PPI, PPI, is not, PPI has no any role in EOE. So this is the thing. If they are asking, what is your next step? Next step, according to the rules, according to the guidelines, according to the steps. 
For eosinophilic esophagitis, our next step will be trial of PPI. Even we know that this is the eosinophilic esophagitis. We know in endoscopy, eosinophilic esophagitis comes, but still we, we give the PPI trial. Why? It is written in the RCGP guidelines. That sometimes because of the dysphagia, we do the endoscopy, but still PPI trial is important after endoscopy as well. So this is your next step. But if in the question they says that this is the uh, endoscopy and there's no plaque is confirmed, now what is your most appropriate treatment for this patient? Your appropriate treatment uh, option will be, your uh, appropriate treatment will be urisonide or fluticasone. So this is the thing. Try to read your question. Don't go with the recall. Recalls always repeat in the exam. Recalls came in the exam. Doctors got 120 recalls, 130 recalls in their exam. But they failed. Why? Because they marked whatever their colleague said, they marked that answer. This is the wrong thing. Mark your own answer. Don't go with the recalls only. My exam was on last date. I got 70% recall. Still, I failed. Well, this is the thing. I already explained you. Because of time, I did not. This is very important question, doctors. Uh, every month, these uh, doctors ask this question from me. And from my, like, uh, not personal experience, I didn't do this thing. But yes, from my friends, from my other colleagues, I know this thing. that Because of time, I did not complete my exam. Five questions left. I will pass or not. You will pass. Completion of the exam is not important. Uh, almost like till today, almost uh, 10 to 20 doctors. Yeah, almost. Uh, it's 15, up to 15 doctors. Uh, uh, I heard uh, that they didn't complete their exam. They only like uh, uh, two questions left, three questions. And yes, one doctor... During my, uh, like at that, at my time, uh, one of my friends, she only completed 140 questions, 10 questions left. And she said that I know that I will pay. And she passed. If you are, if like, if you mark right answer, then you will pass. So it is not like completion is not important. If you mark uh, right answers from 140, if you have the good score, you will pass. So it is not uh, like if you don't complete your exam, if five questions left, three questions left, or even 10 questions left, you will pass. Okay, now next. Importance of exam week sessions. Very important. Sessions, exam week sessions are why important? Because in the exam week sessions, we solve the questions which came in the exam, like in that week. For example, from 15 July, uh, July exams are uh, starting started like from Monday as the Monday is the first day of the exam so in uh on in, like on Monday whatever the uh, recalls come uh these uh sorry this med exam expert they have the large number of the students so the students came and they uh, give their recalls to them and they uh explain the answers with explanation to their students to the second day students so this is all for with the med exam expert they have the a large number of the students, so their students uh, share the recalls with them. So this is the thing, not only the medics expert, also the other, uh, uh, I can say the academies, they also have the same thing. So it's up to you. But I suggest you this medics exam expert because they, again, the same thing, this is that they are the cheap and they have the good uh, teachers. So they give you the explain, good explanation with the right answers. And their answers are mostly from our CGP guidelines. So yes, important exam big sessions are very important. But yes, the other groups, there are the other groups as well, and we discuss the recalls as well. So, but the problem with that groups is that is that, that they have no any like uh, uh, authentic teachers. So they, they are the just doctors and they uh, discuss their questions. So you can follow if you have no uh, like if you said that no, I don't want to go with any academy and I don't want to go with any session, then you can go with the uh, groups as well. So groups are also very important. Groups are also very uh, helpful. And you can just discuss the questions with your fellow friends as well. Like if you have if you have a group of five friends, if you have a group of six friends, you know the recalls, you just discuss the, your answers with your friends as well. So this is the thing. Session, it's, it's not like sessions only from the academy. Sessions means that exam week sessions means exam week recalls discussion. So discussion with your teacher, 
from the academy, discussion with your partners, study partners, or discussion with the groups. This is, is up to you. But exam week discussion is exam week sessions are very important for the AMC exam. Importance of recalls, I already told you, recalls are very important. So please try to solve at least one year recall, maximum three to five years recalls. So I think that's the last slide of my, yeah, that's the last slide. Okay. Sorry, doctors, just one, give me one minute. Okay, sorry. So there's the answers. Okay. Is Kaplan Medicine Step 2 book enough or should be used more for reference? Dr. Kaplan Medicine, it is just try to follow the uh, book from the Australia. Like if they are saying that if in the uh, this AMC website is clearly mentioned that follow the JM, that we can follow the JM. Why you are following the Kaplan? For Kaplan, we always follow the Kaplan in the surgery thing because in the sur surgery portion is not good uh, explained in uh, this JM. So therefore, we follow the uh, Kaplan for the surgery or we can follow the Kaplan for the psychiatry. For the some topics, we follow the Kaplan, but why you are, why you want to go follow the Kaplan medicine? But yes, if you are, like if you already read the Kaplan medicine and if you have good grip on that book, then you can follow that book. Because I think that treatment or I can say that the medicine is same. Uh, that medicine of a whole body is the same. No? Like uh, MBBS is same. Just that the problem is only the treatment, like the doses, or we can say that the follow-up. These little things are different. So if you if you want to follow the Kaplan medicine, you can follow the Kap Kaplan medicine. With Kaplan medicine, just follow the RCGP guidelines, and you will know that what are the changings in uh, between uh, this Kaplan and the RCGP. That's it. Okay, it's really okay. What doctors again? Doctor says it's really necessary to go for academy. No, doctor, this is not important to go with academy. No, I'm not saying like this. Uh, if for those doctors, I will recommend the academy who have the long gap. For those doctors who have the long gap with their study, for them, the academy is important because maybe otherwise they will uh, like, uh, take more time to study. So if they follow the academy, uh, it is good for them. For those doctors who have the long gap, Dr. Hamza, I'm answering your question. But uh, like if you are the fresh graduate, you just pass your MBBS now, you know everything. Uh, related to the medicine, surgery, and everything. You don't need any uh, academy. Just go through with the, the books, which I have already explained you. Just go through with the handbook. Just go through with the recalls and go through with the QBank and you will pass your exam. No need of academy then. Which academy you are talking about is very expensive. I'm not taking, <laughs> I'm not taking any name that this ac academy is very expensive. I think if you are preparing for the AMC exam, you know, if you are preparing for there, you know the number of the academies and you know that which academies, academies are, uh, have uh, like this uh, fees in thousands, you know. I'm not taking the name, but there are some, uh, some academies which are very expensive. And, and we doctors, we don't afford that because some of the academies have the, uh, the uh, like charges more than the uh, fees of the AMC exam. They have the charges like this, like so. I'm saying just if you want, but if you want to go for that academy, if you have Australian dollars, you can go with that. Okay, so hi, doctor. Uh, what books should we follow for Ghani of a side of JM? JM, doctor, uh, I don't know why in JM, uh, in eight, seventh edition, and eight edition, they uh mostly the chapters related to the gani are not in the same in seventh edition or eighth edition but the sixth edition if you find the sixth edition the sixth in the sixth edition there are the good number of the chapters related to gani ops 
so i don't know why they omit the uh that chapters from the in there are the no uh like in eighth edition the number of the chapters are very less for the ganyops but in sixth edition the chapters are more related to the ganyops and they are more explained so if you have sixth edition you can follow that edition for the ganyops okay and you have studied to do you have to study module wise where to study theory from first ed? Yeah, you can follow. If you, I think if you are from, like as uh, from my time, like I was as uh, study for my FCPS part one. And at that time I studied the first ed, new assembly first ed. And I was like, uh, uh, go through with all the topics and I know everything related from that book. So during my AMC exam, I followed that book as well. It is not, uh, there's no any harm. If you want to follow the first set book, if you want to follow the cap, there's no any harm to follow the other books. You can follow them. But the thing is that that for the treatment, for the uh, follow-up, just follow the guidelines. And that's it. You can follow the first set, uh, US Assembly first set. Yeah, okay. So if you have any, uh, anyone in Melbourne, okay. Um, I will, uh, Okay, so if you have any other question related to the preparation, then you can just ask for me. Okay, how can we find past year recalls, doctors? There are so many groups in the uh, this med exam expert. They have also have uh, groups, and there are so many groups in Telegram, also in WhatsApp, and in Facebook. Just uh, search the groups related to AMC. Number of the groups will appear. And in that groups, just go to go to the file section and number of the recalls, number of the files uh, you will find in the uh, file section. No need to pay any money, no need to spend any money. No, just uh, join the free recall groups and get the recalls. If I give four hours daily during my house job for study MC, how much time it will take for preparation? Doctors, now it's up to you. Like if you have a, uh, like if, yeah, during house job, it means that you are the fresh graduate. So your grip is already good. Like you have a good grip in on medicine or surgery and all these things. So you will not take too much time for the uh, revision. So this is just like a revision for you. So four hours per day is okay for you. So just take, uh, as I remember uh, my teacher, they said that all they say, uh, they have this uh, surgery. Uh, five days, five hours, five hours, five days, five months. So this is the thing. If you uh, spend, spend five day, five hours for five days, like uh, skip Saturday, Sunday, just for five days, five hours per day, then in five months, you will complete your uh, whole course for AMC part one. This is the thing. But it now, again, it's up to you. Like if you have a good, good grip, then you can uh, revise in four hours. And like, but if your grip is not good, like if, if you don't know about the topics and if you are, uh, if you face difficulty in searching the topics, then yes, you will take more time, like maybe eight hours or, uh, I also saw some doctors, they revise in one month and they go through the exam and they pass their exam. So this is all about your uh, grip, that how much you know about that, or how much you have knowledge about the uh, these topics or these subjects. Okay, doctor. So, Amidex 2023 or 2000... Doctors, Amidex 2022, 2023. Both are available in PDF files. And these PDF files are everywhere. Like in every file, uh, in every group, you will find these files. 2022 and 2023. But I don't, I'm not sure about 2024 that someone made PDF file for Amidex 2024 or I don't know about this thing, but yes, 2022 and 2023 are available in every groups. Okay. How many months for preparation is needed? How many hours a day? As I already told you doctors that for like, if you have a long gap that at least six months preparation, but if you uh, like if you have on but you if you are fresh graduate and you have a good knowledge related to the subjects then uh, three to four months are more than enough for you but first try to book your exam date when you book your exam date 
then you will start the study. This is the this is very true thing related to AMC part one. Okay, this is for the AMC part one, but not for the AMC part two. For AMC part two, first prepare yourself for exam and then book your exam date. They are very opposite things. For AMC part one, I always said to my students that first uh, book your exam and then start the study because you have one year. So in one year, you will uh, do the uh, preparation and you will go with you go with, through with your exam. But for AMC part two, it is not like this. If once you book your exam, you have no choice for post postpone, like you will not postpone your exam. So and uh, for part two, like uh, booking the date is also booking date for uh, part two is also very difficult. So first book uh, for first prepare yourself for uh, part two, like. 80% or 90%, or I can say that 90% preparation is first uh, do the 90% preparation and then book exam date for AMC part two. But for part one, first book your exam date, that starts, then start study. This is the different from both for both of them. Okay, so all done, doctors. Uh, yeah, doctor, so I think all questions done there are so many questions again but if it's still at uh mostly i give all the answers of the questions but if some if any questions left then you can ask for me yes doctors recalls means past questions yes doctors okay all good then thank you so much doctors for today's session and i hope this session is helpful for you just keep in mind that do the handbook first handbook second past recalls at least three years and q bank any q bank these three things are very important to pass amc exam before uh going to exam just try to grip on these three things if you have grip then you will pass your exam even on day first and even on the last day this is not important thing that day first on day first, I will not pass. No, you will pass on day first. And you will pass in February as well. Where can I get the question bank? Uh, doctor, this is uh, the question. Q bank is not like Q bank is uh, if you want to go with uh, this uh, medicine expert, just uh, contact with them there is the the numbers the number is this these are the numbers so you can contact with them if you want to go with any other q bank you just google the q bank and the uh you just write the q bank name in the google and uh the everything or yeah, any information will come in the google so you will uh contact with them yes doctor uh, i have uh can i start preparing for exam then yes no, yes you can but the thing is that that if you have like if you if you want if you wants to go for the exam in 2026 for example if you want to go for exam in 2026 and still you have two years so maybe you will bore <laughs> with amc things or the most important things is the thing is that that mostly guidelines change this is the problem thing this is the problematic thing that uh, the guidelines related to the screening, the guidelines related to the, the cancer screening, and uh, mostly the guidelines related to the asthma. These guidelines always change. Like every six months, these guidelines change. So this is the problem. Like if you are start, you can start the preparation with the other topics, like with the topics which are not, like for example, uh, the topics which are not related to the screening, the topics which are not related to the like normal topic. <laughs> normal, we can say that the topics uh, for example, the Ghani topics or the medicine topics. These are the uh, topics. These are they will not change. They are always same. So you can go through with their topics now. But the guide, uh, like the screening, or we can say that the uh, follow up and all these things. These things try to go uh, when you booked your exam, because if you uh, learn these things now, after six months, again the guidelines change. Again your answer will be changed. So this is the problem thing. And then you will be confused and you will say that now what can I do? Like I already cover all the things and now my answers are changed because of the guidelines. So this is the problem. So try to book your exam first and then start study. This is the thing. 
Okay. Uh, where can I get the question banks? I've already explained you this. I already told you this thing. Thank you so much, Dr. Hamza. And yeah, okay. Thank you so much, doctors. Uh, what, uh, can you please tell us? Sorry, was thing. Can you please tell us how to manage time during exam? Yes, doctor, this is the important uh, to, for the question. That it is all up to you. Like mostly doctor says that first 60 minutes we, uh, they are the first 60 minutes we uh, solve the 50 questions and then second 60 minutes, 50 questions. I say this is like this. But when you solve the question, first try to read the options. For example, because the questions are very long, no? the questions are very long, like sometimes the questions are like whole one page as well and your answers are on the second page. So sometimes they give the questions like this as well. So the questions are very long. You don't know the question of from which topic the questions are. When first try to read the options. When you read the options, you will get the idea that this question is related to this topic. And then read your question. For example, um, okay, I, I just this is no like thing. For example, this is no like of that is question. Okay, first read the options. You will get the options PPI, butyrosonide, fluticasone, and then you will quickly get the uh, like hint related to the topic. You will say, yeah, this is there is no like of that. That's why they are giving the PPI thing and butyrosonide, and then this is there is no like. And then you will read the question and within one minute, you will solve your answer. But first, if you read the question, that maybe you will take more time to understand the question. You will take more time to get the topic of the question that is this question is related to which topic. So this, this strategy I, I uh, use during my exam and I always told my students that try to read the options first. When you read the options first, you will get the idea that this uh, question is related to which topic. And then you will start the question. In this way, you will solve your question within one minute. This is very good uh, strategy for the questions, to solving the questions. In this way, you will spend less time. Okay. If you, uh, yeah. All good. One minute for, yeah, this is the one minute for one question, 50 question, one question. Yeah, this is our, that's why I'm saying that 50 questions, one hour, 60 minutes. 60 minutes for 50 questions, 60 minutes for 50 questions, and last remaining uh, uh, minutes for the 50 questions. Last 30 questions are very important because last 30 questions are pilot questions and they are marked. So in on the try to uh spend uh, like try to save more time for the last 30 questions last 30 questions are very important yeah all good doctors uh yes uh yeah if you need any okay doctors thank you so much there is no uh there is no red flag or pilot question in the exam anymore please answer doctors actually the in according to the AMC website, there is there is no pilot question. Uh, this flag thing, yes, there is no flag. Like if you mark one answer, like if you mark one question and you uh, press the next, then you will not go to the previous question. This is this is confirmed. If you press the next, you will not go to the previous question. So it means that try to. Uh, I mark your answer very carefully because you have no option to go back. There is no option of go back. So if you press the next button, you will go to the next only. You, you have no uh, option to go back. But for the pilot questions, according to the AMC website, uh, there are there is no pilot question. According This is according to the AMC website. But... Uh, According to the result, like when I saw my result, at that time also they said that there is no pilot question. But when I saw my result, in the result it was mentioned that your marking are according to the, uh, your markings are from 120 questions. It means that there are 30 questions. It means that there are still 30 pilot questions. Pilot questions means 
the questions which have no marking, like no marking, zero marking questions, 30 questions. In the AMC exam, 30 questions are zero marking questions. And that question, these uh, questions are called pilot questions. So when my exam came and I, and I saw that it was written that your marking, your uh, like marking mark questions are 120 questions. It means that pilot questions are still there. My, uh, like one, one, of, one of my colleagues, she uh, passed in March. I asked from her that uh, there were ex uh, pilot questions in, in your exam or not. And she said that there were, because my, uh, in my results, it is mentioned that marking mark questions are only 120 questions. So it means that the pilot questions are also there, it's still there. But we don't know that which questions are pilot. But it's still pilot questions are there, only 120 questions are marked questions. Not all, 150 questions are not marks. 30 questions are pilot. Okay, there is no flag pilot, okay. Uh, how long will it take to get a big verification? This is the thing, doctors, like as uh, from my personal experience, I graduated from that I, I uh, graduated from Pakistan and I just called my, when they sent the, uh, my degree for the verification, uh, the verification letter to my university, I just called my university and then they uh, make it quickly. So this is all up to your country or up to your university that they verify your degree quickly or not. So if you know, like for example, because the uh, AMC will send, first you will do the EPIC uh, things, the not uh, the uh, your documents and everything you submit for the EPIC. And then they will send the your degree to your university. And then AMC will send you the email. And in, according to that email, it uh, like uh, AMC will tell you that uh, your degree is like we sent your degree to your university and now you, your university will verify your uh, this thing, your uh, degree. Now you can contact with your university. Then at that time, you contact with your university. If, you're, you know, if your university will do the verification quickly, then your verification process will be quickly. If your university will take time, then it may be they will take, uh, they take time, maybe three months or four months like this. For me, like verification uh, is complete within one day. I like my university, they I just call them and, and I uh, submit the fees and they uh, verify it within one day and my EPIC verification all process will complete in, within three months. So it's all up to your university that how much time will, they will take for the verification. Thank you so much, doctor. Yes, doctor, last 30 questions are important because last 30 questions are not pilot. As I said that from 150 questions, 30 questions are pilot and 120 questions are marked. So, but we don't know that where these uh, 30 questions, pilot questions, but we know that last 30 questions are marked. Like, there is no any pilot question in the last 30 questions. So it's therefore last 30 questions are very important. Okay, doctor, thank you so much. Mostly, la uh, mostly last questions are marked. Why last 30 questions are important? Yes, doctor, this is the thing. Last 30 questions, they are marked. Therefore, they are very important. Last 30 questions, all 30 questions are marked. Otherwise, we don't know that where is the pilot question. Maybe question number one is pilot. Maybe question number two is pilot. We don't know. But last 30 questions are marked. They are not pilot. Yes, doctor. So all done. Yeah. Did your university tax fees? They are charging me $100. Yes, doctors. My university. They, uh, I think all universities have the, I don't know about the other countries, but in Pakistan, yes, they have, they charged for the verification. And at that time, they charged 8,000 Pakistani rupees for the verification. Okay, all good, doctors. Thank you so much. Total duration of exam. Uh, at that time, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe I think it's just 210 minutes, not 210, yeah. 210 minutes, I think. 60, 60, 60. I think, yeah, 210 minutes. Sorry, doctor, this thing, <laughs> maybe I confused with this thing. Yeah, uh, this is 210 minutes. I, I'm not sure, but 
at this in the timings yeah yes 210 minutes yeah so 210 minutes it is like this that when uh, 60 minutes for 50 questions then 60 minutes for 50 questions and 60 60 120 and last 90 minutes last 90 minutes for last 50 questions why we are giving more time for last 50 questions because last 30 questions are marked questions so they are very important to solve the last 30 questions therefore 60 most question for 50 uh, 60 minutes for 50 questions 60 minutes for 50 questions and 90 minutes for last 50 questions last 50 questions are very important yes doctors all good thank you so much uh, they don't charging anything maybe you are from the private hospital doctor maybe i don't know yeah maybe the private uh, uh university they don't charge maybe i'm not sure with this thing what is the current i think now at yesterday i think in the med exam expert someone sent the message that uh, yeah this is the asthma sent me the message that now the charges are less like first it was 3129 yeah but now this is 2929 2920 yeah less than 3000 now it is not 3000 less than 3000 yes doctors all good doctors thank you so much for today's session and I think now you got all your answers and please start your epic verification and then start your preparation and book your exam date. November is very good. So if you want to go with the November, go with that. Thank you so much, Dr. Kanza. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, doctors.